Hello, welcome to Spirituality Simplified. I hope you're having a wonderful week. And uh, for this week's episode, I was actually led to just do some channeled messages and kind of just check in with the cosmos and just kind of see where we are energetically, what's going on all around us, kind of just tap in and see what those energies are so that you can help you know, work through this week and you can align and flow with these energies so that it'll, it will help you as you go through your week. So we talk about that a lot. It's so important to flow with the energies of the universe and not fight them, which is not easy to do sometimes, right? Because we've got our ego that comes in and says, no, we got to do it this way, or you're doing it wrong, or this doesn't make sense. <laughs> So it's, it's not an easy thing to do. Um, I know I constantly have to consciously say, okay, I'm flowing with the universe, you know, just connecting with your true self and just letting your true self guide you, letting spirit guide you. Um, so that's where we are. I'm going to relay some messages to you guys so that spirit can help guide you as well. So as always, take what resonates and discard the rest. I'll go through these messages and then just share a few of my own thoughts at the end. Thank you. Enjoy. It's a busy time here in the cosmos this week. Lots of preparation, cleaning up, and getting ready for a new season. It may not seem like much is going on, or it may seem like total chaos is going on. It can go either way. But regardless, there's a lot happening in the spirit world. It's exciting times. Everyone has their role and job to do to prepare for a new up-leveling. If you thought the change was over, think again. There's still a lot more change that is to come. But these are all exciting changes. The feeling is like when you're preparing for a party. You may have lots of people in and out of your home, caterers setting up food, florists placing the flowers, friends helping with decorations, the band setting up their stage and instruments. It's a flurry of excitement. It may seem like nervous energy, may a little stressful energy, but it's actually excitement energy. Because all the work that's being done is for something big and fun. You know the end result is a big party with lots of guests coming together to have a good time and share laughs with one another. It's a celebration full of good food and lots of dancing. It's a time when you can just let it all go and just have fun. You participate in the celebration but you also get enjoyment just out of seeing everybody else's enjoyment. It fills you with so much love and gratitude to be able to come together to share love and joy. The earth has been in a holding pattern, but the green light for go has finally been given. There has been a signal to nature that it's time to come out of hibernation and bloom. And now it's time for you to come out of hibernation and bloom too. Look back and see how much you've changed over the past year. You're probably a completely different person, but you haven't really realized it. You probably see things differently now. Your routines are different now. You appreciate things more or less now. You may have realized certain areas of your life that have changed forever and some areas that are ready to go back to the way they were. But regardless, know that you are not the same person as you once were. You too have shifted and up-leveled with the changes in the planetary evolution. Things will never be the same. Some nostalgia and grief are expected during this time. There may be times in your past that you long for, but the truth is your environment now is much better for the planet, for yourself, and for all of humanity. But how can that be with all the upheaval and chaos, you might ask? It's the cycle of life. 
We are born, we grow, we die, and then we're reincarnated. It's like we had a reincarnation cycle within the same lifetime. Sometimes you need to rip off the band-aid to let the wound air out and heal. This may sting for a little, but eventually it heals and the pain is gone. It's like we are reborn again. It's a time to start anew. It's a chance to make the changes that you have always wanted to make, but were afraid to in the past. The truth is you can't hide from the truth anymore. It's all out in the open, good and bad. But take this time to do some self-assessment this week. Which areas have changed over the past year for the good for you? And which areas didn't change that maybe still need to? Are you living your life aligned with your truth and who you truly are? Or are you still trying to hide from the past or aspects of yourself that you haven't dealt with or healed? Everyone is on their own path toward self-discovery and time is irrelevant. Time doesn't exist in spirit. Your soul isn't on a timeline to get things healed. However, it knows exactly when it's the right moment to be examined. And it will let you know. So if you're getting those inklings or that nagging feeling in the back of your mind, or maybe some things from your past are resurfacing, it's best not to ignore them. It means it's time to let them go for good. It's your soul letting you know that you can release this now. So what are some positive things that we can do to nourish our minds and bodies and spirits this week? Gratitude. Just taking some time out of every day to gain some perspective. Look at the bigger picture and see how far you've come. See how much you have changed. Open your mind and heart to receiving this information. Allow yourself to see the goodness in yourself. So often people are so quick to judge themselves or put themselves down because they feel they need to be perfect. But the Galactic Council is asking that people take some time to really appreciate how far they've come on this journey. And it's not an easy journey. (laughs) Appreciate how flexible you've been through all of these changes. Appreciate having the vision to know what needed to change and what didn't. Appreciate the body you have that has allowed you to live out your soul mission in this lifetime. Appreciate the people who have supported you along this journey. Gratitude is talked about a lot but it's time this week to really put it into action. Really take the time to stop for a moment and give thanks for you. Your own self is often the last person you think about with gratitude, but it's one of the most important acts of self-love that one can do. When you love yourself, you see the source and divine love within you because you are source. This episode is the 33rd episode of this podcast, and episode, or 33 is a master number. It's the master teacher number. So you think of teachers such as Buddha or Jesus Christ, or um, there's lots of different ones, but <laughs> those are ones that really come to mind when you think of the master teachers. And master teachers are very Christ-like. They protect, they nurture. It's all about harmony, spiritual creation. Um, Really focusing on your emotions, being modest or humble, charitable, giving more than you receive, kindness. That's what you think about. You know, master teachers such as Buddha and Jesus were known to be selfless and givers of light and, you know, humble and charitable and compassion, all of those wonderful qualities. But they were able to be that way because they saw the source within their own selves. They believed in the divine love that created them. 
They loved themselves the way source loves them. And when you see yourself through that lens that you see, then you see everyone else through that lens because they are created from source as well. Allow yourself the time and space to express this gratitude towards yourself and your own journey this week. Appreciate yourself as a unique individual with your own path and plan, just going along this ride called life with everybody else on board. Close your eyes and think back to the past year. Allow your true self to show you all the amazing growth that you've experienced and say thank you to your mind for giving you awareness, your body for giving you strength, and your spirit for giving you purpose. Repeat these affirmations. I am grateful for my life. I am grateful for all of my experiences because they allowed me to grow and evolve into the beautiful spirit that I am. I am grateful for my body, for allowing me to bring my dreams into reality. I am grateful for the changes that have occurred within me. I am grateful for my heart I am grateful for the people in my life who love and support me. I am grateful for the unconditional love from the divine that flows throughout my being. I flow with the natural cycles of life. I am pure love and joy. I embrace myself, my whole self, with love and compassion. I love myself. Wow, those were some really powerful affirmations. And you know, I really what what really came to mind when I was channeling these messages this week is really just it was like it's go time. You know, it was, I felt like it was the, the, the galactic council was really wanting to hone in and focus on the point of actually doing what we're saying, what we say we're going to do, right? Like there's a lot of talk of, I'm going to do this or, you know, express gratitude. Like you hear that all the time. It can be kind of fluffy, but this is real. Like the gratitude is so important to really ground in right now and to really take time to really thank yourself for everything that you've accomplished, everything that you've done, all the stuff that you've gone through, all the work that you've done, all the healing that you've done, all the changes that you have gracefully glided through, right? Maybe not so gracefully. I don't know. <laughs> it depends, but you're here, right? You made it. You're here. And that's what the guides want you to remember and to focus on this week. And that's really what's going to feed your soul and give you what you need and fill you up with so much love and joy gratitude that's it's such a powerful action and you can say it through these affirmations they're really powerful affirmations we've talked about these in the past but they're really really powerful especially right now because it really grounds in the truth there's your ego cannot come in when you say an affirmation because that is truth that comes from your true self your soul Nothing can change that. Nothing can get in the way of that. So that's what I love about this. And it's, it's really easy. This isn't some long hour long meditation that you have to do. It's literally just taking a few moments, closing your eyes and just doing a little reflection. You know, maybe you do this while taking a bath or maybe you do it while walking your dog. I mean, it doesn't have to be a long drawn out process, but 
it's a really beautiful exercise to really show you. I think we don't do that enough. Everyone's, you know, we're all so busy, right? We've got lives, we've got jobs, things going on and we're caring for other people and animals and plants and all sorts of things. And we tend to forget about our own selves. We tend to forget because we're in this day-to-day existence, right? Sometimes you have to take it day by day, especially with this craziness that we've experienced this past year. We really had to live day by day, but now it's like it's opening up. And I feel like it's time to really allow yourself to just stop for a moment and look back and really see how far you've come and feel what that feels like inside. It's pretty amazing. You know, I did this and I was like, you know what? You're right. I've changed a lot in the past year. I mean, I have gone through so much spiritual growth and, you know, my business has changed. I have changed the way I view the world has changed. I mean, it's a really, it's a really powerful exercise. It's really fascinating to see. And it's so beautiful and positive because you're showing yourself love by giving yourself that gratitude, by giving yourself that recognition saying, you know what? (laughs) I have done a lot. I have really weathered this storm pretty well. And really it's, it hasn't been easy. My goodness. You know, I don't think we give ourselves enough grace and, and because it's, you know, we live in this world where it's so, you know, it's important. You have to be, you know, perfect and you have to, you know, um, it's so competitive and you're just, you're trying to make it through, right? Like it's hardcore. (laughs) Earth life is hardcore. Let's just say that. Um, you know, so I think we, you know, don't give ourselves credit a lot of times. Um, and so that's what the the council is saying. That's what my guys are saying. Like just, it's a little, you know, just take some time to celebrate. It's like what they talked about in the beginning. It's like getting ready for this really fun celebration, right? Like it seems like, Oh, you know, what's been going on, but it's, it's celebrating life. It's celebrating where we are. It's celebrating this up-leveling that the planet's going through, that you're going through too. And it's getting excited for that. You know, it's, it's changing your perspective instead of, you know, dreading change again. Like it's, it's thinking, okay, it's the challenge mindset, right? Like, okay, what's the next challenge that I'll be facing and what kind of growth am I going to experience from this? So it's really all about perspective. It's seeing that higher purpose. Um, and that's really helpful and healing. Um, you know, and again, gratitude, gratitude for where you've come, gratitude for where you are right now and gratitude for what's to come in the future. So I hope that these messages resonated with you this week and, you know, I hope you take some time to really appreciate who you are. You are so beautiful and you are here for a reason. You have a purpose. You are making such an impact. Even when you don't think that you are, you are, I promise you. And spirit and the planet, everyone thanks you for being you and for being here in this time and doing your role whatever that is. And there's no right or wrong answer. It's unique to everyone. Everyone's on their own journey. And it's really fun to just kind of walk this life with everybody else on their own journeys, but we're all coming together as one. And it's just, it's a beautiful thing. So it's really cool. I I think it's, it's, this would be a nice reflection. It seems a little quieter to me. I don't know about, uh, you know, everyone, like they said in the beginning, some may think it feels chaotic this week. I feel like it seems a little quiet to me. So I think this is a really good time to do this exercise. So again, I hope you have a beautiful week. I am grateful for you. Thank you so much. I hope you express gratitude for yourself. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. You can make some comments. How did this go for you? You can check out the LinkedIn group, Your Soul at Work. And we have discussions going on there that you can add your comments and let us know. Let us know how it went. Thank you so much. Have a great week. And remember to keep it spiritual, but keep it simple. Thanks. See you next time.